thank you all for joining us here today for a handing over ceremony from the government of St. Lucia to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. I would now like to call on the Minister for Home Affairs to deliver some brief remarks. On behalf of the government of St. Lucia, it gives me great pleasure to present this very important tool to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force so that they can continue to do their work diligently and to serve the public in St. Lucia. At this trying time, we know finances are very hard. However, the government puts our security first. We put our people first, and therefore, the government has decided to invest in this vehicle, and we expect the St. Lucia Police Force to use it diligently, wisely, and to provide top-level security and service to the people of St. Lucia. Thank you, Honorable Virginia Albert Poyot. I would now like to call on the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Milton Daisy, to offer some brief remarks. It is a great pleasure to have received these two vehicles uh, today. Actually, um, I could assure the government that these vehicles will be placed into good use. And one of the um, reasons for saying this is that for the level of response, our response time to the public, I can assure you that we will use all these resources and other resources that we have so that we could minimize the time that we take action. As you are aware, um, in crime fighting, the earlier you could res um, respond, it's the better for us. We have, you stand a better chance of um, solving any situation or diffuse an existing situation. As um, I was coming here, I had heads of department calling me whether it is going to them and so on because um, you'd realize that we need the resources all over. But I'd, let me tell you, in as much as it is too, but it is a lot compared to what we had it to, I could assure you that we will put it into good use and serve the public with those uh, vehicles. So once again, I thank the government uh, on behalf of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. I know that the MP for Grosley is very happy to be here today and I know he will express such gratitude um, because he is delivering to his constituents. So I would now like to call on the MP for Grosley and also the Minister for Youth Development and Sports, Honorable Kenson Casimir. Thank you, Mondi. And uh, on behalf of the people of Grosley, I just want to say thanks first and foremost to the Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Ministers who have agreed that Grosley, with a population of over 30,000 residents, deserve to have the very best in branding and the very best in capability in providing good, good service to the people in terms of security and safety. And they've decided to deliver to the Grosley Police Station this vehicle. So I just want to thank the Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Ministers. I also want to thank the Minister for Home Affairs. And I want to implore the Grosley Police to keep on fighting. We do recognize some of the challenges in terms of the current venue of the Grosley Police Station. And I would like them to know that we have a Prime Minister and a Cabinet of Ministers that is committed to the safety and security of all the residents of Grosley. And as their parliamentary rep, I will continue to fight on their behalf to ensure that they continue to get those uh, materials that they need to continue to be successful in the fight against COVID-19 and the fight against crime. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable. So now we'll just have a handing over to, of the vehicles to the Commissioner of Police. Thank you everyone for coming.